five years, we could well be spending one trillion dollars a year interest only on the debt. Young people are getting fucked. Now, we also asked voters who they would pick for the U.S. Senate seat. Democrat incumbent Martin Heinrich, Republican contractor Mick Rich, or Libertarian Gary Johnson, also New Mexico's former governor. We're going to have knocked on over 100,000 doors, uh, which is very significant. So we got a pretty good ground game, and um, we'll, just, we'll just have to see. I'm uh, out campaigning for Gary Johnson. I'm volunteering. <laughs> yeah, he's a very personable guy and very intelligent guy. And I'm glad he's back in New Mexico. Maybe he'll stay this time. Well, he's a good dude. Uh, I'm hoping we will elect him for Senate. I wish he was running for governor, quite oh. honestly. Uh, I'm just doing some volunteer work today for Gary Johnson for Senate. Not interested. All right, thank you, sir. Will you be voting for Gary? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know what kind of chance he has, but... We do have a set script that we go on. Hello, voter. My name is Justin. I'm a volunteer concerned with corruption in Washington, D.C. Uh, do you consider yourself more conservative, liberal, or independent? Hey, Donald. How you doing? My name is David. I'm a volunteer concerned with corruption in Washington, D.C. and wanted to know, do you lean more conservative, liberal, or independent? Conservative. Conservative, okay, excellent. You try and hook him a little bit more and tell him a little bit about what Gary did as governor. As a Republican governor, Gary Johnson vetoed 750 bills, lowered taxes, and cut the budget by 10% without firing any employees. Can we count on your vote uh, for a trusted conservative, Gary Johnson? No. If they bite on that, it segues into a little Gary Johnson blurb. Gary Johnson was a former governor of New Mexico, and during his time- I'm, I'm in New Mexico, of course. I'm, he's, he's a pothead. Would you think Gary Johnson, the former Republican governor, or Martin Heinrich, who would you think is a better option in that race? Uh, I picked Gary. I know him. Gary Johnson? Okay, excellent. I'm not going to vote for him, so don't worry about it. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Your call has ended. Please enter your results now. A quick question. Have you ever smoked pot? Uh, I do occasionally, yes. Uh, and yes, we should legalize marijuana. And in 1999, We'll get to I that advocated. in just a moment. All right. We'll come back right. to it. Mr. Rich, have you ever smoked pot? Man, when I talked about we need to yes, let our young... Oh, no. come on. When, when yeah. were the last times that Martin smoked, and when was the last you time... You want to talk about it? Um, it'd be hard to remember the last time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rich, you want to talk about it. You remember. <laughs> you remember. <laughs> Well, presidential race in 2016 was still having to tell people who I was. And the disbelief that went along with you're actually running for president of the United States and you're a what? A libertarian? And what's that? And who are you? And why were you even born? As opposed to running for U.S. Senate, having served as governor here for eight years and having everybody know who you are. And so it's been a lot of fun, really. And I'm getting to run for the U.S. Senate in a three-month race. What a gift. There's a misunderstanding when it comes to public lands east of the Mississippi. What, what is public lands? Well, everybody thinks public lands are riparian areas, but, but there are check, checkerboard lands. This right here. This is checkerboard? Yeah. As you look out over the horizon, it's red squares and black squares. And I do mean geometric red squares and black squares. Uh -huh. uh, the red squares being public, the black squares being private. So what you'll see oftentimes is a rancher, so-and-so and so-and-so, has 20,000 private acres and 20,000 leased acres. How does it always work out 20,000, 20,000? Well, because it's checkerboard. So they pass legislation that says that you have to be able to access public lands. Uh -huh. Well, fuck, how do you access a black square without going through a red square? You can't. It's not possible. Why not sell those lands to the landholders and put them on the, uh, put them on the tax rolls yeah. or property tax rolls as opposed to the lease 
that currently takes place. Spoken than any governor in the country regarding school choice. I'm a Gary Johnson libertarian. I gotta tell you, if you haven't ever done it, climbing to one of the tops of one of those peaks, it's a scramble, but oh my gosh. There is some serious pucker in doing that stuff. <laughs> if you were to slip, uh, which you're not gonna slip, but if you were to slip, you'd die. My mom would say to me that she uh, she didn't, where'd you, where, where do you get it, Gary? Where do you get it? Well, it's you, mom. No, it's not me. <laughs> Gary, it's you. Where Where did you get it? What's the matter with you, son? Don't re-elect Gary for governor. This is my mother. Re-elect Gary so he doesn't go to Mount Everest, please. Because <laughs> he's going. Fifty percent of the grid. Terrific. Terrific. Right now, there's a cap on the amount of wages that get subject to Social Security. You can raise that cap. Recently, there was a military budget increase by about a hundred billion. Yeah. Udall and Heinrich both voted for it, and I was wondering what your thoughts were on that. Well, I, I would have voted against it, against it, believing that the biggest issue that's facing the country right now is the deficit and the debt. After he was governor, he, he went on a little vacation and climbed Mount Everest. The hope that remains within me is to potentially win. And if that were to happen, or it would be really close, Potentially, there could be thousands, thousands of candidates nationwide that will line up next election cycle that would not have done that otherwise, but for my results, for example. I love the last few months, but if I don't end up being U.S. Senator from New Mexico, I am done. I, I will ski 100 days this season at Taos. I will ride the Continental Divide mountain bike race next year for the third time and I'll get back to uh, the dream that I hoped my life would be at some point, and I do live that dream, not by mistake. <laughs> Nobody should play any violins for me, right? <laughs> We also asked voters who they've picked for the U.S. Senate seat. Heinrich came in with 40 percent, Rich in second with 28, and Johnson close behind with 22. However, 11 percent said they're still undecided. Our political expert says this race could be closer than we think. 